Welcome back to Mathematical Statistics. In this lesson, we're going to prove something that I know you've wanted to be true for a really long time. Suppose we're trying to estimate a parameter theta with an estimator theta n hat. This is a random variable, and it's going to be a good estimator if it has certain properties. One of the properties we've talked about is that our estimator theta n hat gets closer to theta as our sample size gets large, in some sense. We defined a few senses about what it means for an estimator, a random variable, to get closer to a parameter theta. In this lesson, we're talking about convergence in probability. We have an epsilon definition of convergence in probability, but I think you're not going to want to use that very often. We have easier ways to show convergence in probability. One of them we affectionately refer to as that theorem. So as a reminder, that theorem says that if we're trying to estimate a parameter theta with a random variable theta n hat, if we have two properties, one being that theta n hat is an unbiased estimator of theta, and two being that the variance of theta n hat goes to zero as n goes to infinity, then that's enough to say that theta n hat converges in probability to theta. Those are sufficient conditions, they're not necessary. I know you've all been waiting for us to loosen up this condition that theta n hat be an unbiased estimator of theta and replace it with theta n hat being an asymptotically unbiased estimator of theta. I've got good news for you. The answer is yes. And in this video, we're going to prove it. We can't, however, prove it in the same way that we proved that theorem. When we proved that theorem, recall that we used Chebyshev's inequality. Chebyshev's inequality says that if we have a random variable x with mean mu and a finite variance sigma squared, then we can say that the random variable x is within k standard deviations of its mean, where k is any positive number. We can say that this probability is at least 1 minus 1 over k squared. Now in our proof, the x, the random variable, was our estimator, theta n hat, and the mean, or the expected value for theta n hat, was theta since we assumed that we have an unbiased estimator. It is really key in using Chebyshev's inequality to be talking about the distance between a random variable and its mean. And in estimation, we've got an estimator and its mean theta if it's unbiased. But to show convergence in probability, we want to look at the distance between the random variable and theta when theta is not the mean for the random variable. So Chebyshev's inequality is not going to help. The first thing I want to do is remind you what it means for an estimator theta and hat to be asymptotically unbiased for theta. It means that the limit as n goes to infinity as our sample size gets large of the expected value of our estimator that this is approaching the thing we're trying to estimate, which sounds like a pretty good thing. In that theorem, we assumed that theta n hat is not asymptotically unbiased, but something a little more restrictive. We assume that it's unbiased. If we can soup up and prove this theorem in the case of asymptotic unbiasedness, then we will have another proof of that theorem. Because theta hat being an unbiased estimator for theta is a special case of it being asymptotically unbiased. The limit, assuming we have an unbiased estimator, as n goes to infinity of the expected value of theta n hat, is the limit as n goes to infinity of theta. And theta is not going anywhere. So this is still theta. And so 
we have that any unbiased estimator can also be considered to be a really boring asymptotically unbiased estimator. Okay, before we prove this, let's make sure we're all on the same page. So what we want to prove is this better version of that theorem. We're going to replace unbiasedness with asymptotically unbiased. So if an estimator theta n hat is asymptotically unbiased for theta, and if the variance of the estimator goes to zero as n goes to infinity, that is going to be enough to give us convergence in probability. Again, we can't use Chebyshev's inequality to show this, so we're going to have to take a different approach. We showed in an earlier video that the mean squared error for the estimator theta n hat can be written as the variance of the estimator minus the bias of the estimator squared. So in symbols, this means that the expected value of the squared difference between the estimator theta n hat and the thing we're trying to estimate is equal to the variance of the estimator. I actually don't need to expand this out. Minus the expected value of theta n hat minus theta all squared, because that's how we define the bias. Let's let n go to infinity on both sides of this equation. Consider the right side first. This variance is going to go to zero as n goes to infinity by the assumption of this theorem we're trying to prove. This expectation over here is going to go to theta as n goes to infinity by our assumption that the estimator is asymptotically unbiased. That means that this difference in here is going to zero. Okay, let's pull it all together. Starting with the left-hand side, we have that the limit as n goes to infinity of the expected mean squared error is equal to the limit of the right-hand side. And both of those terms go to zero. So, we can conclude that the limit as n goes to infinity of the expected value of theta n hat minus theta squared is zero. If that happens, we say that this estimator theta n hat converges in mean squared to theta. That's not what we wanted to show though. We wanted to show that the estimator theta n hat converges in probability to theta. I claim that you can get this from this convergence in mean squared. Recall our generalized Markov inequality. We have a non-negative function g, and we have a positive constant c, and the generalized Markov inequality says that the probability that g of our random variable x is greater than or equal to c, this is less than or equal to the expected value of g of x over c. Remember, our goal is to show convergence in probability of our estimator theta n hat to theta. So let's do it. I'm going to take an epsilon greater than zero. Let's just fix that. And we can say now that the probability that the estimator theta n hat minus theta is greater than or equal to epsilon. So we want this probability to go to zero as n goes to infinity, because that means that the distance between these two guys is getting close and won't be greater than an epsilon when n gets really large. How am I going to relate this to convergence in mean squared? I can write it like this. This is the probability that the estimator minus the thing I'm estimating squared is greater than or equal to epsilon squared. By our generalized Markov inequality, we know that this is less than or equal to the expected value of theta n hat minus theta squared over epsilon squared. Remember what we just showed? We showed that we have convergence in mean squared. We showed 
that the limit of the thing on the right hand side of our inequality is going to zero. So we're just about done. I'm going to take this inequality that we just put together and I'm going to take the limit on both sides as n goes to infinity. This limit is zero. So if we look at this limit on the left hand side and realize now that we've shown that it's going to zero, that is the definition of convergence and probability of theta n hat to theta. And we are done. In our next lesson, we're gonna to start to talk about hypothesis testing. Until then, estimate wisely.